New at six, federal student loan payments are set to restart May 1st. By paying off college debt, it isn't just a problem for millennials and Gen Z. Millions of Americans over the age of 60 are lugging student loans into retirement. Ashley Smith spoke to an expert who says this is a wake-up call for future borrowers. At 61 years old, Lori Scott plans to retire by 2024, taking with her nearly three decades of memories in special education. But she says there's one thing she didn't plan on taking into retirement, student loan debt. By the time I retire, it would be over 60000 This, she says, after going into default at times and accruing interest over 30 years. Penalties, you know, because of times, financial times, I haven't been able to, you know, keep up with the payments. So I'm, I'm fearful, you know, um, that it will last, it's going to last my lifetime. And she's not alone. The U.S. Department of Education reports roughly 2.4 million Americans ages 62 and older carry an average of nearly $41,000 in college debt. By comparison, 25 to 34-year-olds owe just under $34,000 on average. Scott Kemp is Virginia's student loan advocate. At some point in their career, they went back and got graduate degrees, but it also may be they have parent loans, parent plus loans. While these baby boomers only account for about 5% of student loan borrowers in the U.S., the group carries a substantial amount of loan debt. The federal government is very persistent with their loans. You know, they have the ability to garnish wages, to to, to take tax refunds. Kemp says this could especially pose a problem for retirees on fixed incomes. I have some borrowers who are looking at the prospect of um, not being able to pay off their loans at all. Kemp says this should serve as a message to students entering college soon to consider less expensive options like community colleges or be responsible when taking out student loans. When you get your financial aid letter, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to take out that full amount. It may be better to, you know, scrimp and save here and there, you know, and try to pay as much as you can up front before you get to that. It's a lesson Lori says she wants to share with her grandchildren and students. You're going to have to pay that money back. That two, three thousand dollar extra that they send you in a check and say, oh, this your refund check. This what you had left over. It's a loan. <laughs> it's a loan. You're going to have to pay it back. Wow, the State Council of Higher Education for Virginia offers online education courses and resources for student loan borrowers. And if you're worried about being able to repay your loans when the federal pause ends, Scott Kemp recommends contacting your loan servicer. You can negotiate an income-driven repayment plan or ask about other options.